Hi guys, so today we're going to make the uh, spiral plant hanger and to start I'm just using this wooden ring and I've tied it right onto my clothing rack just so it doesn't move around as much and it makes it a little bit easier to film especially and I'm going to take uh, my first of my eight cords I'm going to tie it on with the lark's head knot so I'm going to go over, open the loop and then pull these two back all the way and you want to make sure that these are folded exactly in half okay and then that's the center part and you tighten it up now we're going to use well i'm left-handed so i like to use the right as my guide okay and we're going to attach the other seven cords on with the same knot so we're doing the lark side knot so over open the loop and then pull it down and through and you want to make sure it's nice and snug up there okay so we'll just repeat that Okay, so now that I've attached all of the ropes, we're going to use this one as our next guide and we're going to do hitch knots all the way through and we're going to make sure that this one's a little bit snug, okay? So we go over and through the back just for anybody who hasn't done this knot before. And for each of these strings that we're doing it with, you do it twice to finish the knot. Okay, so now you can see we have our first row. Okay, so now to continue, this is the pattern that we're going to be using the entire way through for the rest, for the rest of the spiral part. So we're going to take the very first one here, and we're going to use this one as our guide. But we're going to kind of, we're going to do the exact same knots the clove hitch knots but we're going to allow it we're going to pull it tight there and just slightly looser towards the end okay so we'll start that
so this is where I'm going to start to leave just a little bit of space and then a little bit more for each one. Okay, so now you can see, oh, just make sure that these last ones are tight. Uh, now you can see that it's kind of starting to take shape. And we're just going to repeat the same steps over and over and over again until we get the length that we want. So again, for the third row, we're just going to use that very next one and do the same thing. Okay, so I'm just going to speed up the video here and get to the end part so I don't bore you guys. Okay, so now I've done exactly 19 rows of the clove hitch knot, and that's about the length that I want to have it. So we're going to start on the bottom part to hold the pot and just look at how beautiful that is, even on the inside. It's so nice. Okay. So to finish the bottom part, we're just going to keep it really simple because um, there's just so much detail on top. Uh, I'm just going to do some square knots and we want to take these four right here and we're just going to do the square knot so oops over like a figure four take that one behind through the loop same thing from the other side we're just going to do that and now we'll go with the exact next four and we're going to try to keep it at the exact same length as the previous one okay so we can see those are lined up and we'll just do the next four and you want to make sure that they're all lined up exactly as they're meant to be. Now we have the first four. So now to do the second row of the square knots, we're going to make sure that these are lined up in order. So here's the first and the second, the third and fourth from where they come from the top rope. And we're going to take the first and the third and we're going to make a second square knot using the inner two from this one and the inner two from this one. So we're going to go down about four or five inches. First one. Okay. 
now we're taking these two, so the second and the fourth. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to take the inner two from that, inner two from that. We're going to make a square knot level to the other one. Okay, so now if we put it back in order, you can see that we have these two and these two to join together. And you want to make sure that these come together like that, okay? We're gonna do the same from the other side, these last four here. You make sure that they're lined up. I'm just going to take my pot, and this is six and a half inches, it's just from Ikea. And I'm going to place it up like that so you can see everything lines up just fine. And now we will do the gathering knot underneath to join this all together. So for the gathering knot, I've cut a piece about two feet long. We're just gonna make sure that these are all nicely lined up. I'll grab them by the bottom. I'm gonna put, make a loop like this. Hold it into place with my thumb. I'm just gonna loop it around. However many times you want, really. That's about as big as I want this because my bottom pieces are quite short. So I'm going to pull it through that loop that we'd made and hold it tight so that these don't loosen up. Pull it right up. Here's a trick now. I'm just going to trim that down. Give this another tug to hide that. 